Welcome to the Roots and Ropes podcast. This is your host, Nathan, where I'm talking about concepts that have helped me grow as a fellow teenager and that can help us grow and elevate ourselves and deal with today's problems and help us in our journey to success. This episode is about the two most common types of models of success, and those are bamboo and roses, as clearly determined in the title. But why does roses and bamboo have anything to do with the two most common models of success? A rose is simply a red flower and a bamboo is simply a plant, but they do. And so this episode is for anyone who's pursuing their journey. They're pursuing their journey to success, but nothing is happening. Feels like a slow process. Maybe you've been going for it after a month, which if you have, that's not even close to enough, but they've been going for it for a month or for a year, and it just feels like a super slow process or results aren't shown. But for people who haven't started, which if you haven't, you need to start, age is not an excuse, but just expectations of what this journey will look like to success. The roses are a flower, they're half thorns, they grow slowly, they're beautiful, and they're red. Bamboo. It also grows slowly, but it plants its roots first, then it rapidly shoots up, pandas eat them, they're all over the place, clothes are made out of them, and it has its flaws. It's a quick summary of what they are. So if you don't get how they model success, that's okay. So don't lose patience in this process, but rather visualize, because visualizing is a powerful tool. It'll really help you understand how they model success. So there's a planter. He has two seeds. He has a rose seed and he has a bamboo seed. And for those of you who are planting experts who realize that either bamboo are not made out of seeds, which if they are, I really don't know. I'm not a biology expert. But roses and bamboo, so they each have their own seeds for, that, for the case of this episode. So the planter plants them, obviously. He makes sure that they're put in fertile soil. He makes sure that the sun can directly reach them. He makes sure that there's nothing blocking them. He makes sure that the surroundings are perfect, that the environment is perfect. And he waters them from day one, January 2015th, Jan, January 1st. It's midnight. It's the new year. And he's super excited. So he plants a rose seed and the bamboo seed. And he waters it for the first day. He comes back and he waters it again the second day. He makes sure that there's nothing surrounding it. He's constantly checking it. He's making sure that everything is as close to perfect as possibly can be. And the third day, he does the exact same process. He's watering it. He's starting to water a little bit more than the actual amount, but that's okay. He's still watering it perfectly. He's making sure that the sun can reach it. He's making sure that the exact nutrients are required and they're in the right amounts and that they're actually getting what they need. He's taking care of that. And so he does that for the fourth day, the fifth day, the sixth day, the seventh day. We're going to fast forward to a month now. So after a month, there still isn't any visible progress. He's okay with that and it's expected. And he, so he continues to take care of that process because he really wants to see these two flower. He wants to see this flower and the bamboo grow. So he does that. He continues that process. He does that process for six months. And after six months, the rose has started to grow. It's about a couple of centimeters. The bamboo, on the other hand, has not grown at all. He's okay with it because it's only been six months. For those of you, again, who are biology experts and know that roses only take six to eight months to actually grow to full uh, bloom, we're exaggerating the process of this growth and extending the rose to grow for about five years, just for the sake of this episode. One year, we fast forward to a year now. The planter has been consistent. He's made sure that there wasn't a single day off where he wasn't taking care of that plant somehow. He's made sure to consistently water it, to take care of the surroundings. He's consistently doing that. And after the first year, the rose has grown a couple of inches. It's just about two inches. The bamboo, on the other hand, has not grown at all. He's a little disappointed, but he knows that he'll keep at it for a couple of more years. And so that's what he does. For the second year, he continues that process. And after one year and six months, the rose has grown to close to six inches. It's about four inches now. It's approaching six inches soon. The bamboo, on the other hand, has still not grown at all. And after the end of two years, the rose has now reached six inches, which is a landmark for him. The bamboo, on the other hand, is continuing to disappoint him day in and day out. He's stressed. 
hands are in his hair, struggling, not knowing what to do. He's been following the exact instructions. He's making sure they're getting what they need. He's making sure that they are doing what they're supposed to do, that they're getting the light they need, the water they need, the nutrients they need, that there's nothing harming them. He's taking care of that perfectly. And he does that again for the third year. The end of the third year, the rose is now approaching 10 inches. The rose is about 10 inches. The bamboo is still disappointing. It's a failure to him. It hasn't grown at all. It's still at zero inches. There's no visible progress. And the rose is keeping him happy, jumping around. And he's bragging it and he's showing it to all of his friends. But he makes sure not to show the bamboo to any of his friends because he doesn't want to be ashamed. Some side details there just to make the story more interesting. The fourth year. The fourth year, he continues that process. This planter has immense patience and he continues to water it. The rose is now bright red. It's blooming. It's beautiful. It has its thorns, but he doesn't care. Blooming and it's beautiful and it's bright red, standing tall, looking amazing amongst the distance in the crowd. The bamboo is still disappointing him and he's super annoyed. He would expect the bamboo to at least grow by now. It's the end of the fourth year and nothing has happened. But he decides to give it one more year. He decides to grow that bamboo for one more year. And if it still hasn't grown, he's going to literally remove the seeds and chuck them into the ocean. But for now, he's going to choose to just continue to grow them. And so that's what he does. After the first month of the fifth year, so now it's 2020, just like now. And there's no COVID for the case of this. But so he continues to grow it. And it's now at the end of one month. The rose is still standing tall. It's not a sad story. It's not going to die. The rose is standing tall and it's red. It's beautiful. It's looking good amongst the crowd with the other roses standing out. And the bamboo he goes to check on that bamboo at the end of one month. And he's surprised and he's excited because the bamboo has grown an inch, an inch. It seems so small to him, but he was so excited because the bamboo was actually growing. Now he has some hope. He felt that there was momentum in that progress. He felt that he would actually grow. He would take however long it took because now he could actually see something. He could actually celebrate. And so he continued to do that for the second month, the third month, the fourth month, the fifth month, and now it's the sixth month. The bamboo is 30 feet. It's literally 30 feet. And the rose is still standing tall and it's red. And now he's showing both the rose and the bamboo to his friends because the bamboo is tall. It's 30 feet. At the end of the fifth year, he's so excited. Because it's midnight, it's been exactly five years. It's January 1st, 2021, I think. Actually, no, it might be 2020. I'm not sure. Maybe I messed up the years. But either way, it's been exactly five years. And now the bamboo is standing tall, 90 feet, which I think is how long a bamboo is. I'm pretty sure that's correct. Maybe I'm wrong. But now the bamboo is 90 feet. It's how it's supposed to be. It's tall. He's been watering it for that fifth year, taking care of it like crazy because he can see progress. Doing the same thing with the rose. Both are amazing and both he can brag and show to both of his friends. Quick story there. So how does that model success? What can we take from that? So the roses are what we call the hard work success, or at least what it, I call the hard work success. They grow slowly and you can see their progress. It's the same thing with people. They start small. They have their dreams. They have their foundation and they grow slowly. They can slowly see the progress. They're going through the process and it's tough. But they eventually grow into a beautiful rose, or aka success. So do you see it? It starts small. It goes through that journey. It progresses slowly and steady. For those of you who guessed it, the bamboo is the overnight success. How? Because it just shot up the fifth year. Same thing with the overnight success. In a day or in a week, the guy just instantly goes viral or whatsoever. Just blows up. That's what we see as the overnight success. But that's where we're wrong, because for all of us who listen to this story, we know that that planter persevered for five years and only in the fifth year it showed progress. But for the first four years, there wasn't any progress and he was still putting the same amount of effort he put in day one, choosing to water it, choosing to make sure that the soil is fertile and that the sun was covering it, shooting directly on it. There wasn't progress for the first four years, but there was constant hard work for five years and only the progress came in the fifth year. Same thing with the overnight success. People are actually working super hard for the first 10 years, the first 20 years, the first five years, however long it is. 
We just don't see it because there wasn't any visible progress in the bamboo. Same thing here. We just succeed with success. We don't see those four years of immense hard work and patience. And so both had patience. They both had around the same hard work. They both grew. In real life, they both reached success. And don't compare the 90 feet to just one foot. We're just using what it's supposed to look like as success. So now, the advantage of this, what is the takeaway? The takeaway is not that you can aim for one. It's not that you can control that. You can't manipulate which one grows 90 feet, which one you want to see the overnight success, and which one can be the constant work hard that you can measure results and test. No, the planter didn't get that choice, and neither do we. We just got to keep putting in the hard work. And so both are amazing. They both require patience. And there's different subversions like rags to riches, rich to rag to riches, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But growth grew in different ways. And so I highlighted the thorns and the roses in the beginning because they represent the flaws. And the bamboo has flaws, of course. The bamboo's not perfect. I just couldn't think of anything. But those are the flaws. And so examples of this, Gary Vaynerchuk, also known as Gary V, is seen as bamboo. For 10 years, he was just constantly going on whatever social media platforms, trying to grow his wine business. And it finally grew around the 12th year. Now he's going to talk about a bunch of places. Michael Jordan is seen as a rose. Because starting from when he was a kid, we've all know his story about how he got kicked off his sophomore team. Or I think it was sophomore, yeah. How he got kicked off the basketball team, and then he came back to play for the Chicago Bulls, number 23. Then he quit, and then came back number 45 to win another three championships, winning six championships. And recently, the last dance. You know, but both had immense hard work. Michael Jordan is more famous than Gary Vee, but it just the results came later, and they came in a different way. Each had their own past. You can't control that. You can't aim for it. The point was to show you that when you're still putting in the hard work and the results aren't showing, remember that you could be going the bamboo way. You have to be patient. But on the other hand, things might not work out. Maybe they're not going the way that they're supposed to. Just because the results aren't showing, don't think you're going bamboo. There has There's some caution in that. Maybe that's happening for a reason. Maybe you're actually going the wrong way. Maybe you're not putting enough water. Or maybe you're not doing the correct way. Still, so you want to analyze. It doesn't give you any excuse to not reevaluate and better yourself. Just because you're putting in the hard work doesn't mean you can't revive. So if you aren't seeing results, yeah, sure, maybe you're going the bamboo way, but that doesn't give you an excuse to not keep trying to be better and try out things. You still want to look how to do your 10-year plan in 6 months, 10 months, 12 months, 1 year, 2 year, 12 months and 1 year are the same thing. But aim for as fast as possible and as effective as possible. The point is to make sure you have patience though when the things aren't going your way. And roses don't have an ego when you're achieving things and others are not achieving things because they could be going the bamboo way. So don't have an ego. And I've had an ego and I'm still trying to overcome it. But recognize that everyone's journey is different. The simple actionable step that you can take today, whether you're rose, whether you're going the rose path or bamboo, because you don't know that. Whether you're going and whatever path you're going, the point is that you need to put in the hard work every day. It's as simple as that. Every day, having the discipline to just put in the hard work. And it's simple. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this episode. That was it for today's episode. Those are the two models of success. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it and brought you value in any way, make sure to subscribe and leave us a five-star rating on whatever platform you're listening to, whether it's Spotify or Google Podcasts or YouTube or iTunes. Make sure that you subscribe to this podcast and leave us a five-star rating. We, I appreciate it, and I hope you enjoy this episode, and we continue to put out content that brings you value, hopefully. Again, thanks for listening to this episode and for joining the community of this podcast. Be sure to check out our other episodes, and again, Thank you.